Okay, in this little video, we're going to start to the process of getting inside the eye. We're letting that stuff kind of settle in. We'll talk about that later. Um, here's another sample. This side is a little more done. We're going to always do some colored pencil ink work on top of this. So our undercoats are going to be a little on the light side, which is fine. I would use, I like to use blue. Like you see, this is just with the watercolor. So you can see that's not really, you know, dramatized yet. But we'll get there. Okay, here is our sample. I would use the brush that has a slightly stiffer bristle. You don't want it to be too loose for this technique because we're going to put some paint down and then pick it up. All right, so here we go. We're going to wipe the brush out. We're going to take a little bit of blue that's, I'm using blue. You could use green, you could use violet, um, you could use other colors. That's totally fine. Uh, it just needs to be a little darker around the rim and get a little bit lighter toward the inside. So watch this little technique. I'm just going to put some blue right there. It doesn't matter if it bumps into the iris. I'm going to wash my brush out real fast and just grab that edge and try to let it, I'm wiping my brush and try to let it kind of fade away. Many times I'll push back into the color. So I'm going to take just a little bit of color off of a dry brush, a pretty dry brush. This um, technique really doesn't work as well if you go real puddly with it. Wipe it off and just try to pick up the edge. I'm going to add a little bit of water to my brush so I can move that back. And again, you're going to do some um, colored pencil work on top of this. So don't panic if it's not perfectly smooth. I'm just going to put a little more paint on the edge. And you just use a really light touch. If you need to, a little bit of water to kind of be able to fort them. I'm taking the side of the brush and just kind of forcing it back if it looks like it's going to crawl too far. Getting a little more paint just to make sure the edge. I can do that across the top too. The, the, this is that shadow underneath the eyelashes. So I'm wiping off a lot and just kind of letting it feather. Okay, same kind of thing will happen right in here, just in a smaller space. I'll get this to dry and um, the second half of this video we'll do a little color inside the iris. So I'm going around the perimeter, wash off a little bit, wipe it down right away and I'm just going to try to blur the edge in a little bit. Now I'm going to try to maintain a little bit of white right there so I'm going to push the paint back, push the paint back. And that's fine right there. See there's kind of that glow in the middle. All right. Let that dry, and here we go to the center. All right, now that that is dry, I'm going to start working in here. And again, we want to keep that little reflection um, empty. And if we have to paint over it later, that's fine, but try to leave it empty. So I'm going to have a couple colors ready. I have my blue and my violet and my green. I might touch it with a little bit of yellow or might touch a little bit of red in there. But what I like to do, since the iris generally most of the time gets a little darker to the outside a little bit lighter to the inside i'm going to try to work the colors in that way too so i'm just going to put a little water down just to kind of pre-soak the paper so some of these colors that i put in will bleed a little bit and again i'm sorry you cannot see clear water but getting a little drop you don't want this to be so much water that it will just drip off everywhere and it's going to soak in pretty fast if you don't do a bunch plus i have a fan running in this room right now and it's going to soak it in pretty quickly so i'm going to with watercolor you go light to dark so i'm going to grab a little bit of yellow and just kind of start to dab it around the pupil and around that we're going to paint that in black later the pupil so if some of your color goes inside of there it's no big deal don't worry about that a bit. So I'm just going to dab, dab, and let the water kind of uh, bleed it around a little bit. So I'm gonna, now I'm going to come out here a little farther and start to get in just little bumpity lumps 
of a green. I might go out to a little blue toward the outside. And again, we are going to get colored pencil and ink and other materials to help really clarify all the little muscles and everything in the eye, get it looking really cool. I'm gonna go kind of a dark stripe right over the top because that'll be part of that shadow that's created under the under the eyelashes in the upper eyelid. So I'm gonna get a little bit of a darker blue. Ah, there we go. See, we can, what, if it's wet, we can get it in there and it might just kind of bleed a little bit. It's okay to have these little spikes and watch what I'm gonna do here next. I'm going to settle those down a little bit very quickly by just wiping and just picking up a little bit. So they just kind of get softer. And again, this is just an, a watercolor undercoat. And it's kind of irregular in there. I'm gonna get a little bit darker right there again. And again, if we did the black watercolor right there and we bumped into it, it would bleed. So we're gonna do that later. So that's all you need to do. And just know, let me preview this a little bit. Here is one that's more finished off. Okay, it's gonna get there. This part does not have a colored pencil yet. Uh, let's see, where is this one? The iris is beginning to look better over here. See, this is what we just did on this side. Over here, we're using some colored pencil to bring out the drama. Um, this one, I think it's all done in ink with a little colored pencil that you've been looking at. So check out what it looks like before. I think this one has a lot of the big Sharpie, and it just doesn't look as good. I tried it with a larger Sharpie. I think we need to use a smaller Sharpie and the Micron to get some of those details. And here is one that is kind of at the same thing I just did with the pupil. See, without the pupil, it's not there. When we add the pupil later on, it's just going to bring it to life even more so. All right, there you go. We're almost ready to do some inking and color pencil next. Now, the quickest part of the painting, other than maybe the pupil, is the tear duct and the thickness of that, eye, um, that lower eyelid. I like to make a little bit of pink. And again, it's pretty dry. So when I'm making my pink over here, it's just a tiny little... Tiny little thin red, a um, lot of water and a little bit of red. Always wipe off. Pick up just a little bit of color. Again, it should not be real wet. So when I, I just add a little bit of that pink, and you can maybe just barely see it, but that's all you need. And if you happen to leave a little bit of the white of the paper, that's fine too. It might even look like that little moist uh, tear developing. The, the tear duct... I'll kind of put some pink in there, maybe a little bit darker over here. Again, a second layer, we'll just make it a little darker. I added a little bit more red to my color, so just a little more. I'm gonna wipe off and use a small brush for this and bring it back some, so it's not quite so thick red. I'm gonna let that kind of fizzle away. I'm gonna take a little bit of that darker red and just kind of put a couple little lines in here I like to make it look like there's little highlights in that little tear duct. So let me get up close. And then when we get, get up close to that thickness of the eyelid. Again, you may not have noticed it, but it's painted there. The thickness of the eyelid. It is... It looks like the, it's painted there. You can look at that tear duct. It's even going to get more lively soon. And we can definitely see it on these samples that we've been looking at. Same kind of thing. All right, there you go.